30 years. That is a sentence political donor Ed Buck received today for the overdose deaths of two men in his West Hollywood apartment. Fox 11 Susan Hirasuna live at the U.S. Courthouse in downtown L.A. Susan. Yeah, and this was not an easy victory for the victims' families. In fact, it took two deaths and the near death of the third man before Ed Buck was brought to justice. Today, the victims' families had an opportunity to tell him what he had done to their lives. With hands raised, the family members and friends of Jamel Moore and Timothy Dean descended from the courthouse, a victory walk after a long journey to bring Ed Buck to justice. The judge sentenced Buck to 30 years in prison for his crimes, including the distribution of meth that led to the deaths of Moore and Dean. This has been almost five years since 2017 when we couldn't get Jackie Lacey to, uh, to file any charges and um, no one wanted to touch this. This has been a long time coming, so um, we're very happy. Moore was just 26 when he accepted a ticket to come to L.A. Say goodbye to him in the morning, and the next thing you know, that same night, they called me and told me he was dead. So if it wasn't for Ed Buck sending him a ticket, he never would have went. Oh, the sister of 55-year-old Timothy Dean wanted a heavier sentence for Buck life and was not impressed with Buck's apology to his victims. You do it at the day of sentencing. You had um, three years to um, apologize to our family for killing our brother. So to me, it was um, too little, too late, and I didn't buy any of it. Buck, once a fixture in West Hollywood politics, donating upwards of half a million dollars to mostly Democratic causes and politicians, the prosecution painted a far different picture of him as the host of drug-fueled sex parties. The participants, typically black men, down on their luck, often paid to party and play. Dane Brown was Buck's last victim, injected with an almost fatal dose of drugs. He's done a lot of wrong things to a lot of people. He's destroyed families, and he's destroyed lives. Well, the restitution and fines that Ed Buck must pay, that still hasn't been settled as yet. He's expected back in court for that. But the victims' families were not talking about that money. They were talking about the money that he donated to political leaders and said, you should give it back. That is dirty money. Give it to some worthy cause. In Los Angeles, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.